everybody, and welcome back to Space Engineer Survival, Chapter 5. Uh, today is probably going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, because today, my friends, we are going into battle. That Ember defense installation has been on our radar for a while, since day one, and I'm going to get rid of it. There's also another uh, space pirate thing up there that I want to get at, but today we're going to be building uh, either a war rover, because I want to see how that will work, or a ship uh, to defeat that. But, first, we need to scout it out. Now that's 12 kilometers away, but that's on like the other side of the planet, so I kind of don't want to walk there. So we're just gonna build a small thing. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll go big. Here might actually be pretty good. A good space to build it. And we'll build like a garage of sorts over here. Oh no! Oh no, well that didn't work how I thought I wanted it to. Inventory full. Oh no. Well, that certainly worked out. But, good news. Uh, I have a way to fix this. This is a perfect time to introduce a mod that I got working. I've had it for a while, I just haven't been able to get it working. It is called Improvised Engineering. So basically, there it is. Can I pick this up? Uh, kind of not really. I can get this thing. Yeah. Kind of. It kind of works, it kind of doesn't. Ow. Trick shot. Um, the new block is a weld pad. But what it does is it just connects, it welds the two blocks together. So like, check it out. That and that, I'll put it there. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, I put it on the wrong way. <laughs> uh, whatever. So yeah, that's the uh, improvised engineering things. So, um, I recorded about probably two and a half hours after this intro, and I did a little bit that is completely unrelated. This I built twice. Uh, I built it first, then I built a rover, uh, and then my game crashed, uh, and it didn't save anything, which was fun. Uh, so when I came back, I decided to do a little bit less, and I just built this, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, off camera, I built this. I added some more thrusters to uh, my hydrogen miner, and now when I go get uh, stone, I can just drop it off down here and be all good. But yeah, this this episode uh, is meant for battle, so let's get to it. I'm just gonna build a rebuild my rover, I guess. And also, I uh, recorded that intro like eight weeks ago now eight or nine weeks ago uh, so the automations update is now out so maybe we can get a few of those blocks in I'm probably just gonna do a time-lapse of the rover just because I already built this rover once uh, and I kinda don't want to talk over it again so I'll probably just put a picture of what it looked like and that's what I'm going to aim for it to be like although we will see Alright, back from mining trip. Got a whole bunch of iron and a whole bunch of silver. This is my plan is. I'm gonna put a survival kit on that. Just in case we uh, encounter some uh, some not good uh, things. My cockpit right is right in the front, so I wouldn't be surprised if I got shot a few times. Yeah, this is how it's looking so far. 
Uh, it's supposed to be similar to the ATTE, but I'm obviously taking some creative liberties <laughs> because I can. That's about it. Alright. Uh, I will get back once this is finished. Alright. I'm thinking it looks pretty good right now. We got the shell complete, I think. Uh, just doing a once over. Uh, so yeah, we added the survival kit in the back. That's all good. Everything's piped. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, weapons here. This is ATTE inspired. Uh, oh, I should probably do some arch work around here, but uh, whatever. But yeah, four up here, and then I'm gonna have uh, probably just a regular turret right here, and then a custom turret here. So I will be back when I do that. It's been about, who I don't know. Uh, a couple hours. <laughs> Designing this thing on the fly was not an easy task, but hey, I think it turned out pretty darn well. I actually kind of like it. The color scheme I came up with like maybe two minutes ago. I thought it was pretty cool. I might change some things, but yeah. Maybe if we go attack it at night, I'll change it to like a black, like a sleek black. Who knows? I sure don't right now, but uh, if you skip ahead, you'll probably figure it out later in the video, so who am I to say? Yeah, I'll be back. Alright, so here's the finished product. I uh, piped the connector on the bottom to the large card container, and I decided not to uh, have the front guns, front and rear guns, just Gatling turrets be turrets. Uh, that I just went with the big cannon. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm kind of proud of it. I kind of like what it, how it looks. kind of looks really cool. There is some exposed stuff, but I cannot get blocks in there. And the hydrogen engines are really loud. I cannot believe I fit two of them in there. But, uh, there's something new every day. Also, pieces these, piece these off with conveyor caps, which I think are really cool from the new automations update. Uh, it was then, after I realized over there that I'm missing something on my markers. That station that we were about to attack uh, despawned and isn't there anymore, so there's literally zero point to me even making this. Just really, really fun. So I don't know what we're gonna do now, since that was uh, the entire point of making this, so there's half my video just out of and gone. I do have the Maydays up there that I could check out, but I don't actually have a ship that can do that. Maybe I'll build one of those and wait another week in order to do that. Uh, so I guess I have literally no idea what I'm going to do now. That sucks. Really sucks. There's nothing to do on Lothal. So, if there's nothing to do, leave. Park this take most of our materials up and start building an actual ship. A large grid ship. I suck at building a large grid ship, so we're gonna see how this goes. Yikes. What in the world? But we have enough. So it's occurred to me, as I continue to build, what I am building, that I have not explained what it is that I'm building. I just never did it. So basically what this is, it's going to be a 3D printer for ships. I'm going to build a ship that is going to get me away from Lothal. That is my goal. But I'm going to do it the cool way and build a 3D printer so I don't have to build it myself. I'm going to make a, like a template in creative and then make a blueprint out of it, and bring it into this survival world. Uh, I might do a process of going over that, but it won't be long. And that is basically it. That is a tight fit. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't have the... I 
I don't have any weapons. It's 13 kilometers away. I can get over it. Should be okay. What is it doing? I don't have any weapons on my station. I don't have any weapons on my person either. I can't shoot it down. see me. I can't believe that worked. Holy moly. Okay, well I guess it's gone then. Oh, there it is come back into range. You don't have anything to make weapons with. Or ammunition. We don't have any ammunition. We need to build some binoculars. I don't see anything. Staying out of range, which is good for us for the moment. I think we gotta fortify ourselves just a little bit. So, in order to do that, we have to put down some weapons. Probably just Gatling turrets, honestly. Bullets. We'll all go out and get some magnesium. We'll be all good. Where do you go? I'm not gonna go searching for trouble. But if it finds me, we might be ready. Who knows? Well, now we have weapons, so we can at least have some sort of protection. Honestly, I think we've got a pretty good head start. I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, we made some pretty good progress. Uh, I'm gonna leave a sort of cliffhanger, kind of, with the uh, Ember Patrol drone. Um, but I think we're pretty good. That looks a little wonky, but it works. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one.